So this is quite unique in the sense the first mausoleum or vault we see is literally at the side of the road. Is it this head head piece? I never seen this that. head piece. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're in County Clare in a place called Kilmurray and not too far away is uh, Spanish Point and you might even hear the the waves and um, beautiful coastline here in Clare. Now we are standing in the middle of a road but on either side we have a graveyard well cemeteries really well we have a, ruins of a church as well and years ago back in 1855 the landowner at the time was Charles MacDonnell and um, I think that was his name anyway but if it's wrong I'd put up his name but I think it was Charles MacDonnell but he was basically the, the landowner and he was supposed to have cut the graveyard in two put in his own kind of a private entrance and he was also supposed to have moved the bodies so where to I'm not sure but this place is amazing we have loads and loads of fantastic mausoleums right beside the road which is to me crazy and then on the far side as well we have more so we're going to take a look see what we can find and read some of the inscriptions that are on these mausoleums as well now i'm debating which one to go into first but i think we'll go into this side first so as you can see people are visiting this is for the power family and we have numerous names here on this plaque anything from 1920 right up to 2018 which is interesting now what's also very very interesting about here is the beautiful artwork that you'll find on the plaques have a look at that we have a cherub up the top we have a chalice we have the silver coins and this tomb was erected by Patrick, Michael and James Murphy in memory of their beloved father, Marty. We Ma found a Marty. No way. And anyone that's a long time subscriber on the channel will know our mascot, our mas... Wow. <laughs> our mascot is Marty. So we have found Marty just there, guys. How amazing. So this must be his family. This was his original. Oh, wow. Great um place. But th this is 1833 and it says aged... 85 wow and we're going to have a look obviously at these mausoleums i mean they're not only extremely close to each other we have the powers here and then this one and then straight away we're met by another one and once again some beautiful designs look at that isn't that just fantastic we have the scales here we have the sun and the moon. We have what I presume is a winged angel. The coins. And this one says, Here lieth the remains of Andrew McNamara, who departed this life March 16th, 1826, age 30 years. Also for Patrick McNamara, who departed this life 1832, age just 20. Wow. That is beautiful. So another magnificent mausoleum and i'm just going to show you these were the the doors you can see the little um what would you call that like the, a ring an iron ring and i presume they just pulled those back but these ones are cemented closed and i have to say some of them have had amazing work done to them the strange thing about here isn't it is they're all flat stones the graves the, graves. the majority of them i'll just give you a look reminds me of kill rush you know there were all flat stones there yeah. but as i turn around i have just noted the, this wow. on the back of this mausoleum <laughs> beautiful photograph in loving memory of nora murphy 1983 aged 19 years her father patrick 1998 his wife josephine 
2000 age 65 erected by our heartbroken parents, sisters and relatives. So I presume that um, this is probably, is that, would you think that's Nora? Possibly her mother and father there. Now it looks like to me that you had stupid vandals who actually put horns on her head, it looks like, doesn't it? Where? The two marks. I don't see that. Yeah. There's one there and one there. There is slightly, but I think it's more... I think it was purposely done. Do you? Yeah. Well, she, she's beautiful. Her. She's very, very beautiful. It looks like she has like a, like, you know, a really cool jacket on her. And her beautiful smile. So rest in peace to them all. I can, you see, you can't see it on the camera, but there actually you can see one there. And one there, actually. You might pick that up on the camera. That's disgusting, whoever did that. You will get no look for it. Rest in peace to this family. Very, very sad. But we have loads of little trinkets and things here just underneath it. And once again, you see the big hinge there. Or the iron kind of a handle, I suppose. Want for a better word. Yeah, so unfortunately, look at the, the rubbish. People just throw it anywhere. In the middle of the two mausoleums. So the roofs at the top do look like they, they need some attention and fast, really. Uh, so let's keep going. So you can see hundreds of these tombs here on the ground. Unfortunately, just looking at them now, I don't see any writing on any of them. And how do we get up here without walking on graves? So this is quite strange. I am presuming that her actually graves. So we'll try and walk in between them as much as we can. It is a very, very strange setup, isn't it? There is no walkway, bar this tiny kind of little uh, path in and around. Another beautiful stone here. Look at this full crucifixion scene here and I've just noted a 12 year old is buried here very hard to read this and even to get into it but you can see just there all the designs you have the keys the weighing scales looks like uh, angels and maybe soldiers there and of course our Lord on the cross and the one beside it is actually very very similar This is how rural <laughs> we yeah, are. This is, this is here now. Like it's just farming land mostly now. There is some built up areas. But uh, it's crazy that this road has gone through this uh, graveyard. As I said, Charles was a, a land a land owner and decided he wanted you know the road for his I suppose up to his land, let's just say. Um, erected by Patrick Murphy of Quilter. So that's kind of the area where we're quite near. Um, something in memory of his father, Michael. Um, 1893 it looks like there. There's somebody else buried here. Also his mother, so his father and mother, Mary. 1893. Um, and I think she was 82 by the looks of it there. So another fantastic mausoleum if I stand back. And you can see the top of it there as well. We have a lovely cross up on top. I can only imagine how much these would have would have cost back in the day. So let's keep going another bit. Look at these even. These are literally right beside each other, almost jammed. And if you want to read what's wrote on it, you have to go to the end of the grave. James Michael Malone, 1944 to 2021, so very recent internment. Is it Malahan? 
never heard of the name. And then we have Thomas Mollehan, I think you're right. His son, John PLG Kilrush Union. Born in Manford, 1760. Uh, we have a load of names. Sons there, wife. Oh, look at the age there. Yeah, his wife Catherine died in 1903 and she was actually an amazing age of 107 years old. Wow. Fantastic. Uh, their sons John died in 1921. He was only 49 and Thomas was 72 in 1946. And then we have the older plaque there. So they've obviously redone it. And as I said, the newest interment was 2021. Right, so we're going up this way. We have the other mausoleum that's kind of to the back of the one we just read, erected by Pat Kelly, 1864 this one is. Same typical kind of the handle on the door. And I suppose these are more vaults than mausoleums. This one is uh, Daly. Tom Daly and their children. Can't really read the whole thing. Um, can't even see the date on that. We have a Mary Ellen here as well. That was 1998. And her son Michael. So this one is not as, I suppose, nice as the other ones. But still a beautiful, uh, kind of like a barrel top vault there. And the lovely cross then that sits up on top. So let's keep going. We have one more. I'll try and get around these places without stepping on too many graves. Although we were just talking to someone local there. And, you know, people use them nearly as steps now at this stage. Uh, just to get up and around. Because from what I see, people are still being buried here. So this is another vault. And it's kind of built onto the wall itself. Just there can't see the back of it it's like the door is actually in the field there that's strange isn't it yeah it's outside the it's wall. outside the wall um little kind of a vent i think there but if we go around you can clearly see that this is the the back of it and i do see a gate that clearly goes out to the field just there up at the top corner so the plaque would be on the other side, unfortunately. And then we just have a lot of um, crosses, these high crosses or Celt Celtic crosses. And look at it again. I wonder is there putting in the, the rubbish. Hardly bits of coffins there. Somewhere in there? I wouldn't think so. It seems to be kept uh, very clean. Now, we see if we can get up there's two more up here the one up the very top corner is actually a newer um vault or mausoleum but it was made or it's been made to look like the older style that we've been looking at here god i can hear music wafting in from the farm can you i was wondering what that I presume it's from a house just up around. So this one says 1885. Looks like Thomas. To me, like that looks a curtain, I think it is. Um, yeah, there's the name. There's an Anne curtain there. And once again, these big old doors. You know, these would have been cemented in after the last internment, I'd imagine. So let's take a look at this. This is beautiful. This is McCarthy. Gosh. Auntie Maureen, we've more um, of your relations. <laughs> Look at this. Ah, this is beautiful. So we have a 1925, a 2023. That was Paddy John McCarty. He was born in 1925 and he died January 2023. We see beautiful fresh flowers. So obviously that is quite a recent internment. Then we have Marion McCarty, 1953, her husband John. 1976 and baby Christine 1973 so Christine is there as well beautiful McCarthy name there and you can see the fresh flowers 
So obviously a very sad time just after Christmas and just very, very recently the last interment went in. Now there is a little prayer just pinned to the, to the door part there. It says, I see you dancing, Father. We won't read that because that could be personal. But a beautiful mausoleum they have made, as I said, the last interment, 2023. And they've done it all up, which is lovely to see. So, um, we'll try and get back out and around. As I said, we met a lovely local gentleman. And he was talking about he has family here as well. And another similar one there again. This is Francis Casey Esquire. Age 74, I believe. 1884 possibly wrote on that one. And then this one. And this is Cotter. Thomas Cotter. His wife, Mary Ann, and their children, Mary Ann, buried in Salisbury, England, her brother, James Cotter, in 1989. The little step was probably put there because that's only recently put up, isn't it? It's a new plaque, I believe. And then I'm presuming, because that is kind of the back of the, the mausoleum, I think. Ooh, the wind. It's completely overgrown there. But isn't it strange the way they're... They're, uh, they're all little houses. Yeah, like little houses. Like, it's so beautiful. But when you come to Clare, you will notice always, and especially Clare, Galway, those kind of more western parts of Ireland, you'll see all of these little small stone walls. And, uh, you know, it's kind of like this place. You know you're in the west of Ireland, wouldn't you? Just the way it's it's laid out. There's something. I mean, both of us love Claire. Um, I find myself coming back here twice this year, wasn't it? We've only it's been and we've come back yeah. because we just love it. It's different and it's something we haven't really covered. Yeah. So our next stop is just over here. So that's straight across the road. Um. Another mausoleum even here. Look at the shape of this one. You can see the roof kind of slants up and then it's just flat at the side. This one has lost. You can see that the little handle is actually here on the, the ground, completely rusted away. I'll just place it against the, the plaque. And it looks like Daniel Cleary is here. Is there a door there? It looks like an entrance. Oh, probably was, yeah. So, across the road we go. And across the road there is also rooms of a church. So this is quite unique in the sense the first mausoleum or vault we see is literally at the side of the road and that's for Patrick Patrick was that a H? Harron? Harron. 1930 Wilhelmina Harron 1944 and then there's a Patrick, a Mary, a Bridget and a James here as well. Looks like they've tried to... I'd say maybe they're going to try and maybe paint it up or something maybe get back out onto the road <laughs> just to have a look at it i mean this is just it's just amazing isn't it to see it so close to the road yeah very you wouldn't believe it until you you came here so let's see gosh it is cold isn't it way off in the distance there you can see the waves coming in oh so let's go down this way a little bit and we'll go into the ruins as well memory of Mortimer Mortimer so we found Morty now we found Mortimer 
um, Harren as well, uh, his wife Catherine, um, beautiful angel just up there, I might zoom you in a little bit, just so you can see it, just there, that's gorgeous, and in memory of the Harren family, so anything from 1911 right up to 1938, his wife Bridget must have been the last to go in. We have a door here, it's been sealed up, but you can see there's a massive crack in it. But let's walk in here. This plaque actually says, a memory of Father T, excuse me, Father T Maloney and the poor of Kilmurray Ibrickon. Wow. So let's have a little, Wow, look at the look at the way the walls are done. Gosh, they're beautiful, aren't they? It's, yeah, the way it's, it looks like it's black. And right here we have another mausoleum just inside the ruins. Now this is the oldest mausoleum revolt. Um, it actually is 1777 and it says, This monument was erected by Mr. John Barrett for him and his family. Um... So it, now this is inside the ruins, as I said, which is uh, quite unusual, really. It does look like there that it was open to the front because oh, it, yeah. you have a piece of wood and a piece of slate. Yeah. Kind of propping it up. Like it? it's, yeah, it is like it's propped up. You can see there at the side. So I wonder was it opened not too long ago for something. There's Maybe. some on the top as well. Look. There is actually, look, there's a new plaque here. And this goes from 1962 to 2022, yeah, Martin Maloney. So maybe he was the last in third. You can also see that they have done some amazing work fixing it up. Do you know, they've made well anything that was maybe deteriorating. And look at the roof on it. Wow. It's all been done. Look at this. Yeah, so this is fantastic to see that it's all freshly fixed up. Just look at the wall. It's like brick upon brick upon brick. It's crazy, isn't it? So, and in, even in here, we have these fat, flat um, tomb slabs. What's this? Oh, there's probably a piece of the old church here. Look at that. And it's kind of protected, I suppose, in behind that little gate. Muffin Island, look at this. So this says under here, in memory of Kate O'Dowd, Mutton Island, drowned on the 8th of July, 1905, aged 30. So obviously her family have come and placed a new um, memorial plaque for Kate O'Dowd. So Kate, rest in peace. Terrible tragedy, uh, drowning like that. Gosh, look at these. Like, what is going on here? Or what were these? Like it's like, shells. aren't they? Like, this is, see what this is like a plaque of some sort. Um. In remembrance of, and it looks like Patrick, Patrick, Colleen, um, gosh. Uh, something house, it says. It looks like M O L is it? L S Q Molesky? Molesky. Molesky House. And in here, then, as well, we have in memory of Patrick Colleen Molesky, died 1915. His wife Susan died in 1942. Their sons George, Patrick, Tim, John, and John's daughter, Mary. Wow. That's strange. really, really strange, yeah. The iron cover. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand what the uh, that iron kind of cage is there for. Now, these are the back of the mausoleums that are closer to the road. Just look at that for work. And it all just kind of fits in so well with the whole area the little stone walls and the, the ruins of the church. This obviously, what's that? I was going to say that's the ruins of the church, but I don't know. Does that go into a, in the back of a something? Maybe, it looks like it was a door at one stage, look. There was an opening at one time, yeah. There was an opening. I wonder is there a, a mausoleum to the back of that? Interesting. We'll have to go out and have a look, see if there's... But you can see just there the, the outline that it was a door of some kind. 
whatever's on the other side of it. We'll have to have a look. We'll have to look. I'm just having a, a nosy up at the top there. Right, we'll go back out. We'll get in the last few mausoleums. It feels like it's going to rain. And Toshe on a four today, so it is um, very cold. But, you know, I don't mind the cold as long as uh, the rain stays away. That's that beautiful door into the entrance of the Darun. I've been told to come back up and look at something. I'm just looking at this stonework. It's, it's uh, different here. <laughs> Unusual looking. The hand holding the scroll, is it? Let me have a look. Well, it looks like a hand holding a scroll, yeah. Gosh, that is nice, isn't it? Is this this head? Head piece. What is I never seen this that. head piece was erected by Michael Clean of Molosky for himself and oh, family. Wow. 1879. That is a headpiece. I've never seen anything quite like that before. Heard of headstone, but not headpiece. A headpiece. That has to be... Real old kind of yeah, talk. Yeah, never it? seen it. There's no date on it, or is there? There's not. Is there anything down to the very, oh, very bottom? here, yeah. 1879. So 1879 there. Wow. A headpiece. Yeah, I don't want my headstone called a headpiece. Wow, that was interesting, wasn't it? Good eye, good catch. Right, I was just looking at the door here. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at that. And you can just kind of imagine people, yeah, going in and out here all those years ago. So that door, I don't think it was this uh, vault that was the the one that was the back of, but it must have been this one. No. Okay, so there's the rail. That little hole there is where the rail was with a couple of those grave slabs. So is it this one? There's no um, plaque on that. Maybe so. I don't know. Yeah, it must be into the back of this one. Hi. Hello. This one has lovely designs as well. Oh, yeah. Chalice and coins. Here lies the body of Mary Kennedy. Kennedy. And it's 18, April 1827. And her husband is here as well. Um doesn't give a date for him. You see the beautiful designs with the angel up the top, the sun and the moon, 20 pieces of silver. And I think there's a chalice there as well. Fantastic. And that would have been the original door in. Right, so guys, we've come right around the corner. These are the last two vaults erected by Bridget Shanna. Shanna. Is it Shanrahan? Shanrahan, I think. Is it? S H A N A. They've kind of wrote half the surname and the rest kind of underneath it. In memory of her beloved husband, Patrick, there's the whole S H A N A H A N. Shanahan. Ocean View. Ocean View, 1872. And a lovely cross on that one as well. And look at the lock or the big steel handle on this one. Wow. It's huge, isn't it? And then this one here. We have two cherubs on this one. One on either side. And it says, here lie the remains of Anne Kelly alias Butler 
um, who departed this life May the 23rd, 1831, age 74, and the little door in. Right, so guys, that's the end of the video. Um, very, very unusual graveyard. As I said, this is the road that divides the graveyard in two. But for now, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Click the notification bell to all and that will let you know when I upload next. But for now, guys, take care. God bless. And I'll talk to you again soon.